Imagine the world where farming not only feeds the planet but also heals, where every acre of land is nurtured, not depleted. That's the vision behind conservation agriculture, which is a farming system that can prevent losses of arable land while regenerating the degraded land. According to FAO, during the past 40 years, the world has lost a third of its arable land. About 430 million hectares are gone. However, conservation agriculture comes in as the solution to this problem. Conservation agriculture facilitates good agronomy, such as timely operations, and improves overall land production. One of the direct benefits of CA2 farmers include reduced cost of cultivation through savings in labor, time, and farm power, and of the input cost due to high use efficiency. It has main three principles. First one is the minimum or no tillage. We mean minimizing soil disturbance through tilling or never do it at all. By doing this, we are allowing the soil to retain its natural structure. The second principle of conservation agriculture is a permanent soil organic cover where we use residues and mulches for the plants to survive. So for example, we have maize here. So the maize is harvested and we take the cobs and the stalks remains on the field. Normally in CA, we we apply much from outside the field for the first time, but for the succeeding ta time, we only use the, the crop residues on the field. We never take the external inputs uh, to the field. The reason for keeping the residues in the field is to avoid the external pathogen to come in the field because, for example, if you, bl you bring the grasses outside of the field, we never know the type of pathogen you are inoculating in the field. So we only keep what is in the field to stay on the field. Last but not least, the third principle of conservation agriculture, we have crop diversification. So by this principle, we mean that we can do the crop rotation or intercropping. So crop rotation, you alternate different crops of, from different families uh, in, the, in the field. So let's say if I plant maize this season, the next season I'll, I'll plant a, a crop from different family like beans or soybeans. We also have intercropping. So by intercropping, I mean planting different crops on the, at the same time in the same field. So here we have maize and beans. So the main reason for crops to go to be intercropped is to allow nutrient recycling and for the covering of the soil. For example, if you have beans, they can fix nitrogen, which is really needed by the, the maize to thrive in the field. And these beans are covering the soil and they are uh, minimizing the evapotranspiration of the soil and keeping the moisture um, at optimum level. And lastly, you can, uh, you can intercrop to, to minimize the risk of crop failing. So if this maize fails, this, this, the beans will thrive and give you another in source of income that you will need to grow for the next season.